Today we're talking about confidence monitors. And a confidence monitor, oh, hold on a minute. Before we get too far down the video, be sure to like the video so you can get similar content sent to you by YouTube. Share this video with others and or subscribe to get notified of future videos coming out from this channel. Google says that a confidence monitor is usually a TV screen anywhere from 32 to 60 inches. They are a lot bigger today. That sits on the floor at the foot of a stage and allows for the presenter on stage to see what slide is on the screens without turning his back to the audience. Remember, they came to see you and your presentation, your face, not your back. As I went through this, I came up with six or seven confidence monitors, and we're going to go through those right now. What we have here is a kind of a crude sketch of a stage. We've got a speaker who's facing the audience. Yay. A lectern and a monitor for the audience. And we've got various monitors we're going to be bringing up to talk about. The very, first, the very first one is the classic monitor on the lectern. This could be a laptop. It could be a desktop with a separate monitor. Basically, you just stand at this monitor and talk from the monitor here on the lectern. You will need some type of pointing device or advancing device, whether it's a mouse or a clicker, presenter, remote whatever you want to call it, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, wired mouse. We've got a video of that, so you can review that at your leisure. So the monitor number one, confidence monitor number one is on the lectern. Confidence monitor number two is on the floor. This could be one or two, maybe even three monitors on the floor, depending on how big the stage is and how large you can make the monitors without being in the way of the audience. So this gives the presenter, the deliverer, a little more freedom than being tied down to the lectern. So monitor two is on the floor. Monitor three, side stage monitors. You could have one or two depending on your situation. I've only seen this one time in a church, but you have seen it a lot with your local weathermen or weather person's own television, you'll see them looking off to the side. They're looking at the side stage monitor to make sure they're still in frame, make sure they're pointing to the right item on the map and that it's, um, it comes across the way they want to and that they do not get too close to the camera so the head is too big. So these are side stage monitors, let's call them. Monitor number four your classic monitor on the on the back wall or a wall. This is done a lot in churches. You see it all the time when you go to church to help the choirs and the ministers with lyrics and scriptures. But it's also applicable to other sites. You could have an LED wall, you could have multiple monitors, just different things to aid the presenter. So monitor number four on the wall. Monitor number five, I have it written as a cell phone, but it's really any handheld device for the deliverer. It could be a phone app tied to PowerPoint via Bluetooth. It could be a tablet in shared mode. It could probably even be a smartwatch if there's an application for it to tie into PowerPoint. So a handheld device or, or cell phone, monitor number five. Monitor number six is a teleprompter. Most of us have not used them or even seen them because they're quite expensive. On the home use, well, let's back up. The, the, this type of monitor or teleprompter is used a lot by the President of the United States. And that mode is text only. But it could also be a monitor with a camera behind it, which is what you'll see a lot of home studios or smaller studios using the monitor will have the words on it and the camera will be behind it. So you're always dead center with the camera while you're speaking to it and reading the words. 
So those, that's the teleprompter. There was one other monitor that I came up with that I did not put in the graphic. It is a, a variety of from a commercial studio, from a television station where you'll have a commercial camera, a teleprompter for text, and then a monitor attached also to the camera so the person speaking can see that they're still in frame. If there's one person, two people, three people in that particular shot, they'll know what's going on because they can look at the monitor and see the words to help them. So quick review, we've got monitor one on the lectern, monitor two on the floor, three is side stage, four is the back wall or a wall towards the back, handheld device, and then the teleprompter. Next, we have a real short quiz. Where is the confidence monitor and what type is it? It's right there on the floor. So it's a floor monitor. And here's the presenter, the, the deliverer. If he is in, is, is he in good position relative to the projector and the screen? Here's the projector and there's the curved screen. Looks like he's in front of it about one third of the way. So he needs to move over to his left and either rotate the monitor or have the monitor moved so that he's not in the way of the projector. You always wanna make it as easy as possible for your audience. So the main thing you wanna remember is do not face the screen unless you just, just have to. You wanna face the audience and, and that's where your confidence monitor will help. You can use your pointer or your mouse to draw attention to a particular item. It can be electronic. You can use a red LED within PowerPoint. You can use a bigger arrowhead. You can even use colored highlighting to help accentuate your oral comments. If it works out, use prevent presenter view in PowerPoint. If the second device will allow it, just makes it so much easier as far as seeing the next slide, seeing your notes, keeping time. You wanna get familiar with the equipment and the room at the facility. In other words, get there early. You wanna practice, practice, practice both orally and visually before your delivery using video recordings. They'll help the timing. They'll also have your audio in the mission and also to mention your video. Make sure you have enough gestures and facial expressions. If someone else is advancing the slide, you wanna work with that particular operator or person to make sure you all are in sync on your transition cue, whether it's a nod or finger point or whatever the case may be. And we have a video on that. You always wanna have a plan B. Plan B is for backup for your delivery. And you wanna use confidence monitors as much as you can because it just helps your confidence, make, makes your presentation go smoother, quicker, faster, and you're just looking more professional because you want the audience to want more of whatever it is you're talking about. Give them more, we'll have, them, have them begging for more information. So I will close with this. Which type of confidence monitors have you used in the past? Thank you very much for watching.